New at 6, the Bay Area is a rough place for small businesses. Expensive rent, high labor costs, and a laundromat in San Francisco is a perfect example. KPIX 5 reporter Jackie Ward is on Valencia Street, which over the years has gone from mostly blue collar to a street known for hipsters and foodies. Jackie? Yeah, and Liz, 16 years ago, the man who owns this laundromat behind me took a loan out on his house to open this business. Since then, he's lost his home, and now he's about to lose his business. Owning his own laundromat has been a dream of Paul Fields since he was a kid growing up in San Francisco. Everyone always has to do their laundry. Regardless if I don't see you today, I'll see you in a week or so. But we all have to do it. Now, after owning Wash Quarters laundromat in the Mission for almost 16 years, his landlord is pushing him out by raising the rent from 4,800 a month to 11,500. And it isn't feasible for anybody to, to literally go up 140 percent. You're making your your money a quarter at a time, but in, in doing so, it's it's. There's no way you can come up with an extra 7000 Paul says to operate his business, it already costs him 13000 a month, and he can't keep up with the forced increased costs. What I'm sad is that there is no rights for tenants, um, and that's something uh, for commercial spaces. We have no rights at all, and as much as I research and look, there's nothing I can do. Paul received a letter from his landlord's attorney in May that says in part, quote, your landlord has been and is very generous to you. The landlord has not charged you market rent and could have done so since October 1st, 2015. You have been able to stay at the premises for almost three years with well below market rent. City Hall has offered a small monetary incentive for Paul to relocate, but it's still just too expensive. If I were to move next door, it's still about a $500,000 investment. So for me to take the initial step, like a $1.7 million, and I'm going to take my chances making a quarter at a time. And that's very risky. The last day of business here is in less than a month on July 17th. The Small Business Office of San Francisco tells me that there are 85,000 small businesses and entrepreneurs in the city. In the Mission District, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.